to another Honda Fit episode. I'm here with... Yes, we're here with Elliot. We're going to work on the Honda Fit. We've got a new throttle body from the fabulous parts store, the... Power Frame. No, they don't sell parts there. They are fabulous. We got it from the... Junkyard. There we go. Junkyard horsepower coming to our Honda Fit. All right, we're gonna clean this throttle body up. This came out of a wrecked car, so uh, it looked like the idle air control motor took a little bit of damage there and knocked the connector end off and knocked the vacuum tube out. So we're gonna go ahead and just blast that guy out of here. Um, you know, I may have not brought the right size socket. Oh, that'll work. So that's an eight millimeter there. If you feel like you need to change this, hopefully you can get a better throttle body than I did, but you know. You work with what you can get. This I got at Pick and Pull for, I think it was 60 bucks. I'm sure if you go on a day where they're having a sale or something, you can get a better deal. Maybe it needs a little bit of pry action here. Oh, that's exactly what it needed. A little O-ring there. We'll check out the one we pull out. And that just goes into the intake manifold there. Now this thing looks like maybe it came out of an oil burner. So it's pretty oily in there. It's always a good idea to clean your throttle body every now and then anyways. See, look how grungy that is. That's gross. All right, we're gonna get this cleaned up. Now, allegedly, this these Civic ones are five millimeters bigger than the one that is on the Fit, which is what we're gonna put it on today. Um, it, it allegedly only works with the GD3 Fits. We're gonna take the old one off and we'll measure them side by side and see if it's true. All right, let's get this thing pulled apart here. Of course, I've got my hot air intake. We gotta get out of the way here to get to this throttle body. There's the throttle body, there she blows. Okay, so we got coolant running through this thing and this hose and this hose. So these are the ones we're gonna crimp off and then pull the hoses off. There we go. Don't want to get them too tight. That one may not be as good, but we're going to roll with it and see what happens. So you got to leave enough space. You can get the clamp off the hose as well. Handy dandy pliers. I like the CT brand. Made the USA. Used to be made by Press Ranch. Just go ahead and set this underneath here. Important to make sure that your coolant system is cooled off sufficiently enough before you begin this work. You want not want to do this on a pressurized system. Oh, it's the same as our... Oh, same as our idle air valve. Just extra studs on this one. So that's different. Different than the Civic one. Not at the shop today, so I got a little bit different tools. I didn't spend the time to find the right socket, so I'm gonna go do that. Well, there we go, I found the adaptification don't have any of the good tools here at home. And if I did, I would have left them on the lawnmower or something. Don't have any of my handy dandy muffin tanks either. Kind of driving me nuts. There's a little clamp on here. They don't hold much. Mainly stuck on there because it hasn't been removed in 210,000. Wanted to make sure and pry up on this one around the base to break it loose because the other one on that Civic broke and I ain't got another one, another one of these. Here we go. Got one big connector back here. It's covered in a big rubber sleeve. Kind of got a pinch in the middle and just move it back and forth. There we go. Slide this learning loom back a little bit. 12 millimeters, holding it to the car, to the upper plenum that is. Okay, 
board. Don't forget your little brackets around the back. All right, we got them both side by side here. We have the uh, GD3 fit throttle body, and we have the, I think it came off a 2010 uh, just base model Civic. So we're gonna measure these things. We got our digital caliper here. We're just gonna see, start with the fit one and see, you know, generically what the throat is. We got 56 on the throat there. And this one is 56. Okay, so the throat's the same. All right, let's flop them over here. Fit one, let's go to the backhand side here. 49, which is what I read online is a 50 millimeter throttle body. So we got the Civic one here. Yeah, we got 55. So this is five millimeters bigger, as you can see. I need to swap the idle air motor over to this one and look at our coolant line situation. Looks like this one here will be close enough to work. This one here is pointed in the whole wrong direction. So we're just gonna get some generic hose to go on here and basically loop it around the other way. Back from the parts store here. Uh, next up, we gotta get our hose out of here. So I was thinking about maybe moving some of these wiring looms around, maybe so I could see the hose a little bit better. And obviously, this one's not gonna be pinched off. So I'm just gonna try and go quick here. It's clipped into a piece of plastic back here. Got it moving a little bit. All right, we're moving good now. It's about to pop off. So I'm gonna get my other hose ready to go here. Got a piece of generic hose. Made sure to get fuel hose. You don't wanna get vapor hose or anything like that because it's not strong enough. And this thing's gotta make a pretty good loop here. So we're gonna try and snatch the old one off and shove this one on real quick. Off. And new one on. Cool. All right, we're gonna use that hose to basically loop around and come to the other side of the throttle body, but we'll make it look nicer than that. We're gonna use the factory clamp here. I'm gonna snap this in up here to the factory location and then route it underneath this fuel hose and then back up to the front of this throttle body. All right, got my clamp down there. Gonna tighten up the clamp. Clamp is tight. I'm gonna snap this into that holder there and then go right below the throttle body there. Coming back over with the base Civic throttle body here. You know, here's the part we didn't try to see if it actually bolted on. I mean, it looks real familiar. We'll give it a try here. Don't forget your little brackets that go on the back. Get one started there. Get our other bracket hanging here. Now I do have a newer gasket in here. So I've been taking this thing apart a few times to do some things here and there. If you haven't replaced your throttle body gasket, you should be doing it when you're doing this. Okay. It is on there. All right, so we're ready to hook up the rest of the parts here on the throttle body. We have our bracket that goes to our idle air control motor. Slide the hose on there. Clip the bracket on. You know, it looks like I could have put those nuts on before. Made it easy on myself. You know, gotta do it the hard way. All right, got those started. Cinch these down up here, it's eight millimeters. <laughs> Need the socket there, smart guy. Obviously found the best adapter you had there as well. So how about our coolant lines here? See, this one hooks up, makes it sit pretty high there but I think I have a solution for that. We're gonna go ahead and just put it on. Slide that clamp down there. 
And what we're doing is just sliding the hose past the barbed end, making the metal go further in there, which is reducing the curve that it has to make. So we got that one slid on a lot further. We're gonna do the same thing up here. So move that up, get this broke loose a little bit, kind of just push it in while wiggling. I don't really like the angle too much. All right, so we got our coolant hose here. We'll slide another clamp on it. Put it onto our lower coolant fitting there. Tighten it up. Okay, it's all tightened up. Now to get this to line up here, I'm not liking really where this wants to sit, which is right here. Okay, I figured out that it really doesn't matter where this one ends up because I have the intake on there. I can put this vent line to anywhere, really. So we're just gonna put a new piece of hose on here so we have one and get some clamps on there. Slide the clamps on there, one on. Do this one the other direction for fun. That'll work just fine. All right, we got our clamps tightened down on our short hose here. Hook our wiring loom in back here. Hook it on there. Had all air control motor plugged in. Throttle body plug in. Now we just need to get, snap this wiring back on here. Now we just need to get the intake on. You know, I never remember which side goes in first. Ah, oh, there we go. So since we have this intake here, we can just make a little vent hose that goes right up there. So that's what we'll do. All right, we just gotta tighten this intake up. Put our new vent hose on. Looks to be maybe the ticket. There, to there, okay. So we have our Civic Throttle Body on here now. And thankfully, uh, Mucho Milo is helping us. He's a very good helper. But yes, if you could see behind the Fat Kitty, we have a brand new Junkyard Civic Throttle Body to try out. All right, so we're gonna turn the key on here. And we're gonna plug in our generic OBD reader here. All right, Elliot here is warming up the OBD reader here. Yep. Maybe it'll communicate. Yeah. There it goes. There it goes. Okay, Just hit the enter button. No codes found. Good, that's what we figured, enter. Okay, scroll down to erase codes. Or scroll up to erase codes. As erase codes. Enter. Yes, enter. Command send. Okay, it's always a good idea to erase codes after you change anything on your car because it resets the adaptations so your car can relearn its new parts. Sounds good. It's running good. So the other important thing to do is after you change something like this, especially in the air intake system, is to let it idle. Yep. Let it idle for about 10 minutes and uh, then it'll kind of relearn what it needs to do. We're also gonna take some data logs on Han data to make sure that we didn't uh, cause any weird readings or anything like that. Yeah. And you were taking data logs this morning, right? So you know how to do that, right? Yeah. Okay, well, let's go to it. So I, Ryan, wanted to tell you that in the end, the results of the new throttle body aren't much to write home about. 
but any extra power is always welcome. When combined with future tuning efforts, it might show torque gains in the top end. But only time will tell. Well, that about wraps up this DIY Fit Gang episode. Until next time, I have been Ryan, and definitely not an AI-generated voice that was used to make up for the fact that Ryan forgot to film a conclusion to this video. So now, as always, you should go out and find your own apex, because it's better late than never.